I'll be showing you guys how to know the schools to avoid and explain every single details in terms of searching for the right universities or right colleges as an international student when coming into Canada. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, you're welcome. If you're an oldie, thank you so, so much for coming back. My name is Neka Izaya and I upload immigration and lifestyle content right here on the tube. And yeah, you're welcome. Okay, so in today's video, as you can tell from the title, I'm going to be talking about schools you should avoid as an international student if you plan on working here after you're done with your program or after you're done schooling. This is going to be based on one of the most important things you should know about schools in Canada as an international student, which is the DLI list. And I'll also be showing you how to check if a university or a college is under the DLI list and if they offer postgraduate work permit eligible programs. So if you're interested in what I'm about to dish out, stay tuned. Okay, so before we properly start this video, I want to put out the disclaimer. This video is no way in in any shape or form a legal advice it is just mainly for educational purposes and from my experiences so please after you're done watching this video please make sure you do your research i'm not an agent so i can't give any legal advice so please make sure you do your research okay so since that's out of the way there's some important things you should know before we get into this video number one just in case you're seeing my beautiful face for the first time and you don't know what a dli means dli means designated learning institutions and their institutions are approved by the government either provincial or territorial government to host international students i have made so many videos talking about this i think in every canadian video i've uploaded i always make sure i kind of chip in what dli means and how important than it is if you're planning on getting a postgraduate work permit so just in case you need more in-depth information about that you can check out my videos my canadian videos and i'm sure you get more information about this topic the second point you have to know is that not all dli institutions make you eligible for a postgraduate work permit okay so what is a postgraduate work permit a postgraduate work permit is an open work permit you get after completing your program here in canada so if you finish a one-year program you get a one-year work permit and if you finish a two-year program you get a three years work permit i spoke more in depth about this topic in this video up here i'm going to link it up here right now so just in case you want more information about that please check out this video and it will give you more in-depth information about a postgraduate work permit and my experience the third point you have to know is that to be eligible for a postgraduate work permit you must attend a post-secondary institution and these are universities colleges vocational schools and cegp if you're in quebec meaning that primary and secondary schools are not involved in this program the fourth point is unfortunately a school can actually lose its dli status and i'll talk more about this later in this video the fifth point is just because a school offers postgraduate work permit programs doesn't mean that every program in that school will make you eligible to get your work permit after you're done schooling i know it's kind of confusing but i'm going to explain further later in this video so the sixth point is to apply for a study permit you must need an acceptance letter from a school under the dli list just in case your visa might have been rejected before this might be a reason before you apply to any university or any college make sure they are under the dli list so that you don't have any issues when you apply for your visa and your study permit okay so commercial break just in case you have a pen and a paper jotting things down and this video is actually being very impactful to you for the few minutes you've been watching it please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my youtube channel share this video with your friends family whoever you think wants to come into canada please share this video with them and yeah let's continue okay so that's that there are a lot of post-secondary institutions here in canada so mentioning all of them one by one isn't feasible at all just in ontario which is one of the 11 provinces in canada has 505 post-secondary institutions that's a lot that's a lot so i can't mention everything but i'll be showing you guys how to know the schools to avoid and explain every single details in terms of searching for the right universities or right colleges as an international student when coming into canada so i'm going to be taking my laptop now and i'll be showing you guys how it looks here okay so if you click on the link on my bio this is what you're going to see you can see here it says designated learning institution list and when you go down you'll see postgraduate work permit 
so now here is the section you're going to need if you want to check if the school you want to apply for is under the DLI list and if they also offer postgraduate work permit okay so you're going to go down you see here that says view list by province or territory and I think this search box makes it very easy for students so if you don't know where to start from in terms of studying in Canada if you haven't picked your school yet or you haven't even started the process at all I think this is one of the first things you should use because it kind of streamlines your options and it's going to make it easy for you in terms of schools you want to go for so instead of you like searching for so many things or so many colleges when you come here and you know the province you want to go to you can just click on the province I'm going to use Ontario now and to give you all the colleges that are under the DLI list as you can see here we have the name of the institution the designated learning institution number the city the campuses and offers postgraduate work permit eligible programs the main thing we're going to be focusing on is the name of the institution and also the offers postgraduate work permit eligible programs as you can see here now the first school i'm seeing here is the global college of health business and technology and they don't offer any postgraduate work permit program so meaning that this particular school is off your list so now all these colleges right here that says no is out of your list so you can't apply for these colleges because they won't offer you a postgraduate work permit after you're done with school if you're planning on working this is very very important you have to make sure that this particular area is dealt with during my research i noticed that almost all universities are under the dli list and they offer postgraduate work permit almost all not all so you hardly see a university that doesn't offer postgraduate work permit programs okay so going back to my third point just because a school offers postgraduate work permit programs doesn't mean that every program in that school will make you eligible to get your work permit after you're done schooling I'm going to use this school as an example to explain that point you see this school right here the Adler graduate professional school in Toronto they offer postgraduate work permit programs but it shows details here so when you click on the details you see that you are eligible for postgraduate work permit if you complete one of the degrees below and you meet all other postgraduate work permit criteria so only if you actually complete this program the master of psychology program in this particular school that is when you'll be eligible for the postgraduate work permit i don't know this school in particular and i don't know how many programs they offer but as an international student that wants to work after school if you want to go for this particular institution you must make sure that this particular program is the program you will go for just so that you can be eligible for the postgraduate work permit i hope this makes sense now okay i'm going to use another school for example the algoma university in brampton it says yes here yeah, meaning that every program that this school offers for international students is under the postgraduate work permit so you don't have to be worried about this particular university because every single program that they offer is going to guarantee you a postgraduate work permit so that's that i just wanted to clarify that now i'm going to use my school for example the school i went to my alma mater i'm going to type here in the search box here my school is in ontario but if your school is in any other province or if the school you want to go for is in any other province you can just change it from right here you can see all the 11 provinces are right here so you can always change it if you want but we are doing ontario now because my school is in ontario so this name of my school is confederation college and this is my school here my school has so many other campuses but this is the campus i went to and is in thunder bay so now you can see yes meaning that every program this particular school offers will make you eligible for the postgraduate work permit so you don't have to worry about searching about if a particular program they offer gives you or not every program in confederation college actually offers postgraduate work permit okay so that's that i'm going to search for university so that i can prove the point i spoke about almost all universities are under the dli list and they offer postgraduate work permit almost all not all you see here now all these universities they all offer postgraduate work permit you see yes 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 and not all like i said not all but some 
Yes, 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 yes. So most universities offer postgraduate work permit programs, but not all. And some they do, but not all the programs can actually give you eligibility for the postgraduate work permit after you're done schooling. But if you click on colleges, not all colleges in Canada or all vocational schools gives you eligibility for the postgraduate work permit. So you have to look out for that as well. Okay, so going back to the point I made concerning, unfortunately, a school can actually lose its DLI status. And I'll talk more about this later in this video. When you go through the CIC website, it said that if the school you are studying at loses its um, DLI status after you get your current study permit, you can keep on studying until your current study permit expires. You should extend it but only with an institution that is under the DLI list. So if the school you apply for during your process of schooling loses the DLI status, when you're done with that particular program in that particular institution that loses its DLI status, you can only renew your status in Canada as a student with another DLI certified institution. So that's the only way you can actually extend or renew your study permit. I hope I clarified that. But just in case you have any further questions, just leave them down below and I will talk about it. Okay, so that's that for the video. Yeah, I hope this video was very helpful and I hope it helps someone out there trying to move into Canada. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on the post notifications so you can get notified every single time I upload a new video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Bye.